Hey everyone, this is Chad from linandchad.com and today I'm going to be going over a quick review and tutorial of the Quartz Collection plugin for your WordPress blog. Now, there are a lot of plugins out there to help you display and share quotes on your blog. I've looked at a handful of them and I think the uh, Quartz Collection plugin is probably the best one I've found so far. To add quotes to your Quartz Collections plugin, you just click on the Quartz Collection options in your Tools menu from your dashboard and then you can click on the Add New Quote menu at the top. Below that, you're going to see a list of your quotes that you've added so far. If you scroll through that down at the bottom of the page, you'll also find the menu to add new quotes. But the link at the top will take you directly to this. To add a new quote, all you have to do is type in the text. You don't want to put quotation marks around this because the plugin will do that for you. If you add quotation marks of your own, you're just going to have double quotes and that will just look silly. After that, there are three optional fields. You can put type in an author, a source for where the quote came from, and you can type in tags or categories. Each of these three options can later on be used to sort or display your quotes. I'm going to add a the author name for this, and then I'm going to also add some tags or categories for this particular quote. I'm just going to use one tag for this one. There's also a checkbox whether or not you want this post, to, this quote to be visible or if you just want to store it in your database. If you just want to store it, uncheck the visible box, otherwise it will be able to be displayed using the short codes that we're going to be talking about in a few minutes. Once you've specified the different options for the quote, you click add quote and it will appear at the bottom of your quotes database. It will always be listed as the last quote and every quote that you type in is assigned an ID number. Numbers start at one and they work the way up from there. But an important note, and I want you to keep this in mind if you start using this, is at the top of the quotes collection settings page, it'll say currently you have however many quotes. My database says 150. If you scroll down to the bottom of your quotes database, the number on the last quote sometimes will be different. For example, my database claims to have 150 quotes, but the last quote is listed as number 152. The reason for that, there's nothing wrong, it's just that when I built my database, I eventually wound up deleting two quotes from the database. Since each quote is given a unique ID number, when you delete something, it doesn't change the numbers in the list. The reason for that is you can use short codes to display specific quotes based on the ID number. If the number changed and you deleted something, the wrong quote will be displayed. So. If the numbers ever don't match, like I just described, the uh, number at the top doesn't match the number of the last quote, there's nothing wrong. It's supposed to work that way. I just didn't want that to throw you off guard later on. So now that you know how to add a quote, you can obviously scroll through your list of quotes. For each quote, it will display the different variables that you've put in. Up at the top, there are headings for each category, for each column, rather. You have the quote itself, the ID numbers on the left next to the checkbox. You also have the author and the source. If you put a source in, the, the source will be listed here as well. You also have the tags, whether or not the quote is visible. You can choose to edit and delete the quote as well. Now I mentioned a moment ago that you can display and sort your quotes based on the three optional tags. As far as sorting is concerned, you simply look at the sort by drop-down box. You click here and you can choose whatever option or variable you want the quotes to be sorted by. You can also select if you want the, want the list to be sorted ascending or descending. Once you choose the options you want, you simply click the go button. For example, if I were to go to date added, descending, and click go, it's going to give me the most recent quote first in this particular list. It's just a handy way to find a particular quote if you want to look it up for any reference reasons. Now, as far as displaying your quotes is concerned, this plugin makes it really, really simple to display a large number of quotes based on the variables you specify when you add them to the database. I'm going to show you what I mean by pulling up the blog here. We have an entire page dedicated to quotes, actually a group of pages. If you go to the main quotes page in our blog, you'll see our entire quotes collection. Now, I don't need to add individual quotes to this page. All I have to do is add them to the database within the settings page and they immediately get added to this page as well. For an example, if I were to search this page for the author that I just added in, you will see the quote that I added just a moment ago on this video. It automatically updated onto this page. The reason that that works is because I 
populate this page using something called a short code. I'm going to show you what I mean by pulling up the edit screen for this particular page. Now that I'm on the uh, edit dashboard for this page, you can see that I've set up a little entry message and a list of links to the sub pages for, this, for quotes. But in the text of this quote, all I have is this short code. It's quote followed by a pipe symbol followed by the word all, and all of that is in square brackets. The pipe symbol is just the, um, if you hold on the shift key and hit backslash in order to backspace, it's that funky little vertical symbol that nobody ever uh, uses the name for. But the pipe symbol separates the, uh, the, name, the word quote from the, from the variable that's going to tell it which quotes you want to display. You can use a number of different um, short codes to display different types of quotes. For example, back on the blog, if I go to my inspirational quotes page, which is a sub page that I set up on my blog, this page shows quotes that I've tagged as inspirational. Now, the short code that I used for that is simply quote, pipe symbol, tags equal inspirational. Using the short code tags equals inspirational will display all the quotes in the database that you've tagged as inspirational. Now, since you can apply tags to any quote, you can in fact apply multiple tags to any quote, using this code will constantly be up to date based on what you've put in the database. You can also have multiple tags displayed on multiple pages. You can use other tags such as quote, pipe symbol, author equals, quote, ID equals, and you can specify the ID number if you want to display a specific quote within a specific page. If you ever want to look up what those short codes are, it's very easy. All you have to do is go to the plugins page. From there, you can find the Quotes Collection plugin, and you can go visit the plugin site. And on that page, it will list for you the different short codes that you can use. As you see, you can use a short code to, to display quotes based on the author, the source, the tags, multiple tags, separating them by commas, the ID number, or you can use random to display a random quote. One of the other interesting features of this particular plugin is the widget that comes with it. You want to pull up your appearance menu. You can go to widgets. And I have already added one of these widgets to my sidebar. Once I pull up the options, you can specify a title for the widget, whether or not you want to show the author and the source. There's an option for the Ajax ref re refresh feature, feature, which I'll show you in a moment. There's a tags filter, so you can display tags, dis display quotes based on the tag, and you separate them by commas. There's also a character limit, so you can limit the size of the quotes. That way you won't display really, really long quotes in your sidebar. There's also a handy link here to manage your quotes collection, which will take you to the options page we were on a few minutes ago. To show you what that widget looks like, I'll pop over to the blog here. And this is the quotes widget. Now, as you can see, it displays quotes. Right now I'm using it to display all of the quotes in the database. And it has this handy next quote button. That's activated by that Ajax refresh feature. When you click next quote, it uses it shows you the next quote in the database. Selects a random quote without having to reload the entire page. So if somebody comes to your uh, particular comes to your blog and they're particularly interested in quotes, they can easily cycle through them. And again, you can base this off of different tags if you want to show a specific a specific category of quotes on your homepage. So of all the quotes plugins that I've looked at, the uh, quotes collection seems to be the one that works the best. It gives you the most options and it's the easiest to maintain because those short tags enable you to set up a quotes page based on tags and authors without having to update it manually. Just add a quote to the database, specify the author and the tags and things like that, and it will automatically add it to the page that you've already set up.